with another review yeah and this time we are featuring yes you can see here the dinobots these are the ss86 dinobot figures i already had uh, grimlock a while back i didn't really want to like create a video of him because you know I, I just thought that a lot of people already had videos of him out there uh until i had slag a few months back and i just got my third dinobot right here which is i'm very happy this is really we're going to really focus more on this dude this is sludge and yeah so this, we'll, we'll try to check out these ss86 dinobots especially sludge he is looking fantastic there you go fresh out of the woodwork so let's get ready um we're going to do a quick review of Sludge together with the rest of the Dinobots. I have not touched Slag, so we're going to put Grimlock aside. And we're just going to take a look at Sludge right here first. Look at that really wonderful looking figure. Really nice gray and silver color. We have uh, some, some things over here though. We have some sprue marks. And right at the get-go, you could you could feel that it's kind of floppy. Uh, a lot of my friends mentioned that they, they got their sludge uh, figures, and they they all said that it's kind of floppy. Some some of the people on YouTube as well mentioned that it is kind of floppy, but that's not the end of the world. So that is just really okay with me. I mean, it's an easy fix. You could use some uh, like pledge or some super glue just put that you know on the nubs and then just try to push it in and that's going to fix it and do the trick but you know we're not really here to do that we're just here to admire this really wonderful looking figure i really think that hasbro has did a fantastic job with the ss86 dinobot the crew and i'm just really dying to find out what's going to be with snarl and swoop so let's take a look at this fella right here so we also have um what do you call this we also have slag but as you can see his name now is slug and daniel witwicky so we're gonna free this guy right here from his plastic prison and i really don't care about the box now so screw the box let's oh you wrecked the box what did you do joey you wrecked the box ah screw that throw the box away we don't need the box yeah a lot of people, oh no, what are you doing with the box? Yeah, well, we're not really playing with boxes, are we? We're playing with toys, so I don't really give a lot of problems or, like, care about that. Oh, wow, that is just great. Let's get this thing out of... Oh, wow, that is in there tight. Let's get Daniel. <laughs> that is just a weak toy. And we're going to get the gun out of there so that if these little do that decide. Whew. Wow. Look at that, folks. That is slag. And, yeah, right at the get-go, I think that thing is like Sludge's wings. It's kind of floppy. And this is from a box, so, yeah, not really a big fan of that, but... Again, it's not the end of the world, so they are just massive. These these guys right here, these Dinobots, are just really, really massive figures. Again, a lot of thought and effort has been placed here by Hasbro, so good job. Kudos. Kudos to that. Although this, <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> is such a weak, weak figure. It doesn't even have a face doesn't even have like proper articulation what are those look at that it's bent on the you know from the knees you can't even wow that is just weird so i, I don't know why i would want this i'd probably throw this away or put it somewhere but no i don't like this at all go away all right let's put them together yeah group shot group shot everybody yeah Woohoo! <laughs> i am just hyped and excited about these guys they look great wow they just look great oh one of the lights went out we're gonna take a pause let's take a really good look at these guys now and i'm telling you they are really wonderful looking figures the size is just really a big thing 
I mean, we have never really gotten a good scale on the Dinobots, but I think they really did a wonderful job with the scaling on this one. Now. So we're going to focus more on these two because you know that you know Sludge is really my latest figure, and then so is Slag, which I just recently unboxed. You know, I just planned to do an unboxing with them, but that, I think this is the perfect time. So. Uh, looking at them, articulation wise, let's take a look at them. Wow, that looks, that sounds great. He has ratchets on his, you know, shoulders. Goes this way. Ooh. And yeah, we also have arm swivels. We also have fists that are rotate. Uh, do we have waist articulation? Yes, we do. Wow, that is just fantastic. Ratchets right here, ratchets right here. Do we have ankle tilts? Yes, we do. We have ankle tilts right there. And yeah, that is just everything that you want in a toy plus the size. So that is just great. So let's take a look at sludge right now. So head, no, ra oh, there's, there's soft ratchets. There are soft ratchets. We also have his, you know, arm swivels right here, fist swivels. The waist swivels, articulation wise, they are knocking this out of the park. Thigh swivel, ankle tilts, really great. Posability, you won't have any problem with this. Face scuff, let's take a gander at that face. That is a really good looking face scuff right there. Uh, I just really wish they had more of the old technology like light piping. That would have done wonders. For this fellow right here but very reminiscent very true to his g1 dinobot face let's go to slag slag also has that mean looking dinobot face love that blue right there very metallic great job with that hasbro and oh wow that fell off really loud wow so let's address that. So it looks like this is a common thing that's happening now. Um, very small nubs right there. And that would actually go here to this section. And you don't really hear it click. So that's why if you flick it or something just really, you know, just gravity, it falls off. So I guess that's one of the major gripes right now with sludge. But... Uh, I'm not sure with the rest of the other figures that people got, but that's one on my toy and some of the people in my group as well, you know, in our, in our little Facebook, Facebook group, we had, you know, people saying that, uh, slags, I mean, sludges wings or, um, the belly covers, they fall off. So that's one, um, let's put him in here. Well, I got my Grimlock a long time ago, uh, from a friend. And one of the things that I, I definitely noticed is that this is already, you know, updated with the teeth and everything. So this is not a new Grimlock. I got it from a pal of mine on Facebook. And shout out to, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh Toys. There we go. So I'll put that right there. I'm going to try to check that. I don't even know if I pronounced the name right, but yeah, he's he's one of my pals. So there you go. Dinobots, Dinobots right there. So we're going to take a quick pause, folks. Come back and transform them into their dinosaur modes. I'll be right back. We are back, and let's transform these fellas into their dinosaur mode. So we have Sludge again and Slag. But before that, we already have Grimlock in his dinosaur mode. We're not going to transform this fella. We know, we know uh, we already know how to transform him. Um, just a little gripe. I always thought that this would have been better if we could place it this way, but apparently Hasbro has their own reasons. You know, you could clip this gun over here, and that's going to lock the tail in place. And I really don't see the sense of having the gun sidewards, but you know, that's them. Now, another thing that I noticed about this is that. The factory, um, you know, the original release of this, you know, straight out of the factory, there won't be any chompers or teeth, you know, in front of that. So, not a fan. You have to buy a third-party or a 3D-printed 
piece to get that done right there and that does the job really well so as you can see it's it's a lot better looking with those front teeth and that's pretty much it so we're gonna set aside Grimmy stay there Grimlock you're not the star of the show today we are looking at these two lovely looking Dinobots and we have Slag and Sludge so let's start first with my favorite let's go with Sludge I mean Slag <laughs> <laughs> getting confused with all these you know just notice that all the dinobots would have s for their names except for grimlock which starts with a g so that's sludge slag swoop and snarl but apparently grimlock starts with a g so let's put these hands in here we go um what else let's uh try to get this lower section right here and we are just going to get that up right there. This is the cool thing about this. I really think that compared to the, what do you call this, uh, the DX9 or the uh, KO'd version, which is MFT, the engineering for slag is a lot better. It's easier to transform. So one thing I like about this is that you can definitely just align the crest with the shoulders and I'm gonna get that done in a bit but there's a there you go so there's a lock there you can just like pin it like so and then you can just bring this whole assembly down and that's gonna that's pretty much it that's the face of the triceratops right there you already you're halfway through so it, it's that easy um the thing you want to do next is this just rotate this section right here and once you rotate that you are going to get this this is the cool thing about this which is pretty much the drawback with much of the slag figures um the tail was usually the problem but with this new design it's a lot easier so you just take that out pull this back in and just set that like so and once you set that there's that section which grooves in here so just do the same for the other side just groove that in there you go and then just bring this whole assembly out and that's gonna and this locks in place just really have to do that which is really nice it's just very intuitive it's I, I had no use of the manual for this. It was really just a fun thing to transform. Uh, although the, the real prob right here, it's not really a big prob, but you have to angle the tail so that it can lock in place. There you go. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just bring this down. Bring this down right here. There you go. And you got a really cute, chubby robot triceratops. Get the gun. Put that there. And there you have it. That is a cool looking triceratops, folks. <laughs> I just love this guy. This guy right here has got to be my favorite among the three really nice triceratops design um very much a lot of things going on right here it doesn't look plain we're going to do a little comparison later on with some other transformers but with another triceratops but this really is the definitive for me for me that is um you know with the most recent hasbro releases you know very much definitive slag um i do not have a red flame bluish part but i got i don't know where this came from but you could put a bluish or like a fire effect right there yeah you know you know the so there bluish okay put that there not a big fan though i don't like putting those in my transformers so that's that's slag Let's put him here with Grimlock. Now let's go with this, this guy. This Transformer right here, Sludge. 
the newest one that came out of the woodwork of Has Hasbro, or let's just say plastic work. Um, <laughs> I am not really that impressed. So let's try and transform and let's see why I'm not really that, you know, happy with this fella right here. So let's put the fists in like so. Alright. What you want to do is like really just do that. And take this whole assembly right here. Put the head down. Get this thing up. Right. And we are going to get these sections right here just flip them out like so and you're almost ready now what you want to do is turn this section around so we could flip that later on right there but before that you want to rotate this okay and uh start working on this thing right here. So, got to put that there, got to put it there, and take this section out, take this section out, it's in there really tight, and you are going to get this piece right here, to there. So overall you have <laughs> really like a you know, a robot all over the place, you know, transforming. I mean, there's so many unfolding things here that, like what I said, I'm, I'm really not, I'm really not into the whole transformation. So it's, it's almost like that. And you have to try to angle it. Like so. Because this is going to be the tail, and you have to bring this whole assembly here, bring this right there, push that in. Okay, now once you have that in, you're going to flip it down like so, together. We got to push this thing here, like that, and then you're going to bring goodness I'm gonna bring this here and you're gonna bring this here so you're, you're trying to really make it sandwich together and I'm just not having a lot of fun with this guy right here it's, it's not really the best transformation I think so I'm to close that like so and then just place that there. So you pretty much have the half part done and then you gotta bring these down right here. Try to angle it really bad. There you go. So as you angle that it becomes this. You have to bring this whole assembly right here and then rotate the legs. So do the same here, rotate the legs. And then bring this to a close. So that's gonna latch itself right there. And just try to insert the lock the the locking pins right here here we go and that's supposed that is supposed to be sludge right there now here is the kicker this is the reason why I do not like this figure you know I was really excited with sludge he's a dinobot and dinobots are always cool and this is definitely one of the best Transformers that has come out of the, you know, for you know, in a, in a while, when in, when I saw it in robot mode, you know, they really look like their G1 counterparts. But if you flip them over, what the heck is that? That is a hollow 
space, I was thinking, I was really thinking that I might have transformed it wrong. Maybe I was missing a part. Maybe I lost something in the process. I was, I was, you know, trying to transform this. But apparently, what you want to do is you do this like what you did with Grimlock. You put the gun, so this locks in place, and kind of, kind of covers that hollow section. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. I don't like it. Um, dinosaur mode wise, he looks great as a Bronto, Diplo, Stalkus, whatever you want to call this long neck. Um, the face sculpt on the dinosaur mode is just really striking and amazing. The top part is really flushed and nice. You know, you can just really see that there's just that line right there. But overall, it looks great. The bad part again is that if you take a look down there, there's so much room to be covered that this is this is probably going to be a, another project for third party developers. Now let's have a very quick size comparison. So here is here is the sludge figure from MFT, right? Very big difference right there. Especially when it comes to the size, the transformation, and let's have, let's put that there. Quick size comparison now with slag and MFD slag. So there you go. I'm trying to open the mouth so that they kind of look the same. Big difference again, very plain looking with the Legends class, very intricate design from the SS86. I really like where the direction you know of Hasbro is heading when it comes to the details on their transformers. It is just really, really good. Let's put the Legends class figures aside and let's have another look at the giant dinosaur modes of these guys right here. Dinosaur modes. Again, the best mode for these fellas would be their dinosaur modes. Um, there are some flaws, mind you, but if you can get past those flaws, I am telling you that you would be putting these fellas more in their dinosaur mode rather than their robot mode. The robot modes are really big, they're really fantastic, but I like them in their dinosaur modes. Just, again, get past that hollow section of sludge but overall they look really amazing so we're going to pause one last time we're going to do more size comparisons with the rest of the other transformers that we have and we are going to come back all right folks we're back and this time let's have a size comparison with the dinobots of course in their dino modes which is technically their what do you call this their preferred modes in the cartoons so let's have wheel jack together with his creation so this is technically <laughs> you know a father and their son's moment <laughs> a father son moment <laughs> there so wheel jack created the dinobots i don't really have ratchet with me right now but um, you know we all know ratchet and wheel jack created these fellas so there you go so really nice scale hello there kids <laughs> So Wheeljack and the Dinobots. Really good scaling right there. Let's now have one more figure that the Dinobots like to uh, hang out with. We have good old Cup. There you go. So Cup together with the Dinos. Dinos always love listening. They, they love listening to Cup stories. There you go. And of course there was that moment where... Our young and brash hero was with the Dinobot. So here is Hot Rod. Let's try and put that there. And I uh, really like that scene where they're trying to put the Dinobots inside the uh, shuttle. So come on, good Dino, feet Dino. There he goes. We also have Blur. Let's put. I don't have any space for Blur. I'm trying to put Blur right here. And they, they look really great as they scale well with these other figures. So we're going to take another pause, transform these guys into their robot modes, 
and see their final size comparison. Alrighty folks, we're back and we have the Dinobots in their robot mode once more. So this time we're going to do a quick size comparison with the other Transformers and see how they scale with that. So here we go with Ultra Magnus. Let's start off with one of the bigger bots and I think he looks great when it comes to scale with the Dinobots. We all know that the Dinobots are really massive uh, robots and Ultra Magnus is a big robot but you know the the Dinobots are way bigger so the scale I guess really works well with this. Another thing is that we got Rodimus right here. Rodimus you know gains height when he gets the matrix of leadership and of course he gets a little more wiser and older looking and with that he looks great when it comes to scale with the Dinobots. Now let's have one more figure. This time let's put RC and let's see how RC scales with the Dinobots and that is just really puny. That is super small looking. Let's put one more Transformer from the SS86, something that we've recently reviewed and I recently really enjoyed. We got Perceptor and Perceptor Again, looks small when it comes to these guys. I don't know why the camera is not really working well. Um, let's get some other Transformers. We have, let's bring back, let's bring back Blur. There you go. Let's bring back Cup. And, yeah, the Dinobots. Oops, you can't even see Cup anymore. So there, so Dinobots in their robot mode together with the rest of our SS86 crew. Um, I'm just really super happy with the Dinobots. They have really great playability. The transformation, you know, it's not that difficult. It's definitely not MFT transformation, which is really hard and scary. Especially it comes to slag. So we got slag MFT slag right here, which is super scary to transform Overall they look great together um, I would just really say that the major hiccup with this would be um, With sludge so sludge was really one of the disappointing figures so um, He's the newest figure that's out but he's also one of the figures that I was a little disappointed because of the hollow uh, thing with his transformation. Slag, on the other hand, really wins this because Slag has the most compact transformation, really cool transformation. Wasn't really that hard. A lot of playability, super fun. So he wins this. Um, Overall, I would really recommend you guys to get the SS86 line, especially when it comes to the Dinobots. I'm super excited with uh, the coming Dinobots. Hopefully within this year, we got we still have Snarl and we still have Swoop. So that's something to watch out for. But that's pretty much it for me. Really great job again here from Hasbro. Really awesome looking figures. Just a little disappointed that Teen Teen Weenty disappointment when it comes to sludge but overall that was pretty much it for us and remember team if you have any comments feedbacks put them down in the chat box we really appreciate all the people that have been subscribing lately you guys rock you are amazing and that's pretty much it for me remember folks till all are one peace out rock and roll